Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to determine and set folder permissions. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to both determine as well as set folder permissions in Windows Server 2025. We'll be releasing tons more content on Server 2025 as it is newly released and there are some new features to cover. So be sure to stay tuned if you want to see more Server 2025 videos. Now before we jump in, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2025, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, Check out Indigo Soft. Check out Indigo. Check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So, without further ado, let's jump in. All right. So here we are on Windows Server 2025. Just to give you guys a quick rundown of what we're working with here. So I've got my local disk here. For this video, we're going to be dealing with some folders that are in my shared drive here. So I have a folder that is exclusively for my editing team and a folder exclusively for my marketing team. We're gonna be setting various permissions for both of these folders so that I can make sure everything is the way it should be. Both of these folders are for demonstration and I'm not actually using them. This video will demonstrate how to set these permissions. So the first thing I may wanna do right off the bat is I may want to actually just set the permissions for who can see these folders. So. So let's say I want to keep my editing team localized and my marketing team localized, meaning the marketing team should not be able to go to this folder and vice versa. In order to do that, it's pretty simple. First off, you would need your security groups and we will be making a video on users and groups. So keep an eye out for that. But we'll go ahead and right click on our folder and hit properties. And here in security, we can set various permissions. So for example, again, this is the editing folder. I want to remove the marketing security group from this folder. So I'll click into advanced. All right, so with marketing selected, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'll disable inheritance. When we're changing settings like this, generally speaking, I just want this first option here. So convert inherited permissions into explicit permissions on this particular object. So that'll work fine. And once we've done that, we can remove that security group from these settings. Now, the only other thing I may wanna look through here is what kind of access these people have. So administrators, of course, will have full control system has full control and editing has read and execute. So I'm good with that. We could change that by hitting edit and changing our basic permissions. But once it's how you need it to be, we'll hit apply, we'll hit okay. And I can close this down. And let's just repeat the exact same process for the marketing folder. So pro uh, properties, security, advanced. Now we want editing. Again, we're in marketing folder, disable inheritance. We'll select that top one. And then on the editing, we can hit remove. I'll hit apply and we'll hit okay. Now we could also take this a step further if we have multiple roles in a single department, which most people do. So let's go ahead and open up this marketing folder here and we'll just create another couple of folders. So one of them I'll do for my CMO, my chief marketing officer. And then maybe I just make another folder as well. It's more of like a general team folder. So we could call this general marketing, for example. All right, so right clicking into properties on the CMO folder, I can actually remove the security group from this. So we're gonna repeat exactly the same steps as last time. So I'll remove the marketing group from it. Oops, sorry, disable inheritance, and then the first option, then we can remove the group. Admins are still fine. All right, I'll hit apply and I'll hit okay. All right, now if I click edit under the group or usernames, I'll click add here and we're gonna put John. John is our chief marketing officer. For John, we want full control. Okay, so let's select full control and apply and I'll hit okay. So John now sort of has his own folder that's assigned to and the only other people who have access are the admins. And then for general marketing, we can hit properties again, clicking over to security and advance, and then edit. And again, let's just check out what kind of controls we have here. So if I click on marketing, we can set whether we want full control, modify, write or read. So we can set some of the permissions here. So for the general marketing team, maybe I want them to be able to modify and write, but no special permissions, for example. So that looks good. I'll hit apply and I'll hit okay. So this is kind of just to show you guys how we can actually set different folder permissions. So if you have folders and subfolders, however you split that up, you can set appropriate permissions for each one. 
All right, and then the last step in the process we want to show you guys is how to actually give these users access to the folder. So if we go down to computer management, where it'll be uh, Active Directory users and computers, if you have it promoted to DC. Um, so we'll go find our users folder and click into users, and then I'll right click into John's account. And if I click profile, we can connect to the home folder. And then in here, I'm gonna paste in, this is the file path to our drive that we started with. So this is my shared mapped network drive and pasting that file path in with the correct drive letter. I'll hit apply and I'll hit okay. And I'll do the same thing for Ben, who's my post-production manager. So he's gonna have access to the editing folder that we created. So under uh, profile again, connect and the letter of my drive and then the actual shared network folder. I'll hit apply and okay. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2025, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, the links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topics, ideas that you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. See you guys next time.